I'm here at a abandoned park, uh, sitting at uh, dirt piles. And I don't know that the park's actually abandoned, but it uh, doesn't see a whole lot of traffic. I might end up going over to that, uh, oh, what's it called, the a picnic stand or table over there, because there might looks like there might be a storm brewing. That's the beauty of Ohio, is there's some majestic looking scenery all the time. God, God really is an amazing artist, and I trust that he'll protect us as, as this is going on. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to try to go as in-depth as possible, but uh, just in, just for the sake of not getting caught in a storm, I'm gonna, we're going to get as much meaning in as we can, but at the same time, we're going to move. So for those of you who don't know how this works, um, we read, I read Psalm 19 in uh, three different translations, four if you count the interlinear, um, the NIV, the KJV, and the new KJV, and yes, those are in order, and uh, we explore and take a look at the Hebrew letters that start each, that start every eight verses in this psalm, and we look at the the, the meaning of these letters and the references to the gospel that they bring in this psalm. So, without further delay, let's get into Yod. So, starting with the NIV, and this is starting in verse 73 of Psalm 119. Your hands have made me, I mean, your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding to learn your commands May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your laws are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause, but I will meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes. May I wholeheartedly follow your decrees, that I, that I may not be put to shame. Again, Psalm 119, letter Yod, starting at verse 73. This is the King James. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word, unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies, let my heart be sound in thy statutes, that I be not ashamed. And now Psalm 119 again, in the New King James Version. Letter Yod, and again starting in verse 73. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray, your merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to your word to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live. For your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they treated me wrongfully with falsehood. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me. Those who know your testimonies, let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes, that I may not be ashamed. Before we get into the Hebrew interlinear, the letter, the letter Yod is special, and 
It's special because it's part of the Tetragrammaton, YHVH, Yahweh, the four letter abbreviation for Yahweh, God's name in Hebrew. And the letter Y is also the number 10 in Hebrew. 10 is the number for completion. That's why there's 10 commandments, the complete complete commandments, God's complete law. There are, uh, I believe, 613 other commandments in the Jewish law. I'll have to look it up back when I'm under Wi-Fi, and I will do that at the end of this video. But, uh, but the Ten Commandments are what sums up the whole Jewish law. It, it's, it's what's complete. And you can also sum it up into two things, like Jesus did, and that's love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. So, and the letter Y is also a picture of an outstretched hand. And the letters of the Tetragrammaton, yod heh vav -He, they tell the story of Christ. And this was in the Old Testament, long before Christ was even thought of, at least by, at least by the Jews. So, Y being the outstretched hand, He being an open window of grace, like we talked about, and Vav being a nail, and He again being open window of grace, the hand of grace nailed in grace. Also, if you go by number meanings, 10 comple completion, 5 the number for, still the number for grace, um, 6 the number for man, and uh, again 5 the number for grace. So, complete grace for man in grace. It's the story of Christ. So, the that's even further proof that uh, Christ is, is God, that Jesus and God are one and the same. Because God's name in Hebrew, or the four-letter abbreviation for it, tells the story of Christ. So... With the knowledge of this, um, the letter Yod, meaning completion, and being the outstretched hand that represents Christ's hand that was nailed on the cross, let's, um, let's begin. So, as you all know, each, each, eight ver each of the eight verses in each section starts with the respective letter. But sometimes the letter occurs more than once in the same verse, but it will always occur at the start. So here in verse 73, the letter Yod occurs three times. Your hands, the, star, the, the two starting words. This is one word, Yadaka. And there's two letter Yods in here. It means able, about, armholes, at, axle tree, because of, beside. Border, bounty, broad, broken-handed, by charge, coast, Constant, consecrate, creditor, custody, debt, dominion, enough, fellowship, force, from, hand, staves, work, he, himself, in labor, large, ledge, left-handed, uh, means, mine, Ministry, near, of, order, ordinance, are, parts, pain, power, presumptuously, service, side, sore, state, stay, draw, and strength, stroke, swear, terror, thee, by them, themselves, thine own, thou, through, throwing, thumb, times, to, under, us, wait on, wayside, where, wide, with him, me, you, work, yield yourselves. So, your hands have made me and fashioned me. The word yo, the letter yod occurs again in the words and fashioned me. This is again one word in Hebrew, wekowinunai. And it literally means certainty, confirm, direct. Uh, faithfulness, fashion, fasten, firm, be fitted, be fixed, frame, meet, ordain, 
order, perfect, make, preparation, prepare, self, provide, provision, be, make, ready, right, set, aright, fast, forth, be stable, establish, stand, tarry, very deed. If your hands have made me and fashioned me, give me understanding, and I may learn your commands. So, God's hands have made us, and we are, and we are we are a complete creation in Christ. And God has made us, and He has made us to have this complete relationship with Him. And God's hands have fashioned us to, again, where the letter Yod again occurs, and He has um, ordained us to have understanding, the amount of understanding. He intends for us the exact amount of understanding that we as individuals will need in this life to bring as many people to him as possible so that they can also experience this completion. And the reason he has created this for us is so that we can understand his and learn his complete commands. And it's through Christ that we are, that we are made with this completion. And it's through the very hand of God himself, or hands, that were nailed to the cross. May those who fear you, uh, the word yod is, occurs in these five words that are one word in Hebrew, yerika. And it literally means afraid, or fear, or fearful. <clears throat> May those who fear you, when they see, also be glad in me, because... And also be glad in me, the word yod occurs again. It's we yismahu. It means cheer up, be made glad, have make joyful, be make merry, cause to make, to rejoice very. And again in because, the word kai. And for as much, in so much, where as assuredly, but certainly doubtless else even except for how, because in, because in so then, that, nevertheless, now rightly seeing since, surely then, therefore, although, till truly, until when, whether, while, whom, ye, yea, and yet. So, may those who fear you, when they see, also be glad in me. And I missed it the first time, but when they see, again, the word the letter Yod occurs when they see is one word again. Yer unai, advise, self appear, approve, behold, certainly, consider, discern, make to, enjoy, have experience, gaze, take heed, indeed, joyfully, lo, look on one another, out, up, upon, mark, meet, be near, perceive. Present, provide, regard, have respect for, cause to let, uh, see or one another, shoe, self, sight of others, spy, stare, surely, think, view, and visions. So, may those who fear you when they see also be glad in me because in your word I have hoped. So, I have hoped. The, the letter Yod occurs again. I have hoped is Yahaletai, and it means to cause, to have, to, to have, make, to hope, be, pa be pained, stay, tarry, trust, and wait. So, may those who fear you when they see also be glad in me, because in your word I have hoped. So, when we hope in God's word, which is ultimately the law and the gospel and the law makes us appreciate the gospel and the law makes us i mean the law makes us appreciate the gospel and the gospel causes us to love god that much more because we fear we do fear god's judgment and we have respect for god but because god has saved us from his own judgment because of his completed work on the cross and when we receive this and accept this in our hearts, we begin to have a love for him that can't be explained. And half the time, we don't even understand ourselves. 
and our fellow Christians and sometimes even unbelievers who they, they recognize that God exists, but they're for whatever reason, they're afraid. Something's holding them back. There's something about those of us in Christ. We appeal to them because our, our lives, our words, our actions, our deeds, they give them a glimpse of this completeness that Christ has to offer them. And a lot of the times, Christ ends up offering it through us because ultimately our mission as believers is to bring as many people to Christ as possible so they can experience this completion for themselves. And it's all because we have put our hope in his word that those who fear and respect God, whether they be fellow Christians or people out there who are, 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 are genuinely seeking God but don't know where to go, we're often the people they turn to because they can sense God in us. And the people that fear and respect God, they, they want it. They, they want our presence there because, because they can feel Christ in us. They can feel the transformation that Christ has transformed us with. And it's nothing of our own doing. It's God doing it through us. It's always in God, never outside of and it's when we rest in this kind of completion that the law becomes fulfilled, but it was fulfilled even before that because Christ lived the perfect life that we couldn't and took our punishment on the cross. So, verse 75, I know. The word yadatai, I know. The word yod occurs and it means acknowledge, acquaintance, ted with, advise, answer, appoint, assuredly, be aware or unawares, can, not, certainly, comprehend, consider, could they, cunning, declare, be diligent, can cause to discern, discover, endued with favor, or endued with familiar, friend, famous, feel, can have, be ignorant, instruct, kinsfolk, kinsmen, cause to let, make, no come to give have take knowledge have knowledge be learned lie by man mark perceive privy to prognosticator regard have respect skillful shoe can man of skill be sure of a surety teach can tell understand have understanding, will be wist, wit, what. So, and again, the letter Yod occurs in Lord, Yahweh. See, when you see Lord in all caps in English translation of God's word, it's always, it's usually always the tetragrammaton, Y-H-V-H, or yod He vav He, the word, and it abbreviates the word Yahweh, and it stands for God. It also can translate into Jehovah, but here it says in the Greek, in the interlinear, that it's translating to just God. It's God's name in Hebrew. This is how he's referred to. That are, again, Kai, and it has the, the letter Yod in it, and it means, and for as much, in so much, whereas assuredly, but certainly, doubtless, else, even, except... For how, because in, so then, that nevertheless, how rightly, seeing, since, surely, then, therefore, although, till truly, until, when, whether, while, whom, ye, yet. Write your judgments. Again, your judgments, Miss Pactica, has the letter Yod. Adversary, ceremony, charge, crime, custom, desert, determination, discretion, disposing, due, fashion, form, to be judged, judgment, just, isly, manner, of law, full, manner, measure, due, order, ordinance, right, sentence, usest, worthy, or wrong, and in faithfulness you have afflicted me. The word afflicted me has two letter yodes in it. And the words, you have afflicted me, is uh, one word in Hebrew again. 
inaitani, and it means a base self, affliction, self, answer by mistake, chasten self, deal hardly with, defile, exercise force, gentleness, humble self, hurt, ravish, sing by mistake for, speak by mistake for, submit self, weaken in any wise. So, I know, Lord, that are right your judgments, and in faithfulness you have afflicted me. So, we know that with, with complete knowledge that he has given us, we know that God, the complete all-powerful being who created us and the world, and is the very definition of love and good in the world, we know that we know that completely that his complete judgments are right and that in faithfulness he has afflicted us but then he brings us out of the afflict the infliction see the law was meant to point out our sins and that he needs us and this often leads to affliction and a lot of it is self-inflicted because we know we know what is right, even without the law. We know what is right because God gave us a conscience. But the law makes the conscience impossible to ignore if we are if if we are choosing to if we acknowledge that God exists. There are people who deny God's very existence, not because they don't actually believe in God. They know God exists. They know Christianity is true, but they don't want it to be true. Because they, because they love their sin, because they're not listening to their conscience. And a lot of these people haven't, have either not read the Bible or they've read it, but they didn't quite understand or they skimmed it. And a lot of us start out as these people. But when we acknowledge our sin, when we acknowledge that our conscience knows that we have broken the complete laws of God, it, embr it brings a lot of infliction on ourselves and a lot of it is self-inflicted as uh, the definition in here says but ultimately god intended this only so that we would appreciate his great his complete grace that much more it's because his complete grace that he completed the law he lived the perfect sinless life that we couldn't and took the punishment that we deserve so that we are now credited with his own complete righteousness, and it's complete. We can't add or take away from it. And it's because of this faithfulness to us that we were given the gospel. So we know his complete judgments are right, and in his complete faithfulness, he had his law, his complete law, to afflict us only so that we would appreciate his complete grace that much more. You see, God never intended us to leave us in our affliction that, that we are in. He, he, always intended us to, he always intended to offer us a way out through Christ, but we have the, the choice either to accept it or not. That's why this infliction is also self-inflicted. But if we rest in his complete grace that he offers us, then we are also credited with the complete righteousness of Christ, even though we haven't really actually done anything righteous. It's only through him that we have this. Nothing we do as a Christian is outside of Christ. It's always in Christ and always in his grace, never outside of it. We concur with the law and that the law is good, but the law can only point out sin and bring about death. It's through grace that we inherit eternal life and are considered righteous in the eyes of God. So now, in verse 76, maybe yitai is the word in Hebrew, and it has two yods in it. Beckon altogether, become accomplished, committed, like, break, cause, come to pass, do faint, fall, follow, happen, have last, pertain, quit oneself, require use maybe i pray your merciful covenant loyalty for my comfort 
according to your spoken word to your servant. So, maybe I pray your merciful covenant loyalty for my comfort according to your spoken word to your servant. So, so this word maybe is is with a complete certainty if we choose to accept it. It's not maybe as in, if you accept this, maybe this will happen. No, maybe as in, if you accept this, it will come to pass that God's merciful covenant loyalty will be for our comfort according to his spoken word because we are his, because we are his servants. And we may not always be loyal servants, but God is the loyal one. His love, his grace, it's all complete. Ours is not perfect. It will not be perfect on this side of heaven. But his love and mercy to us is perfect as long as we choose to rest in his perfect completeness. And it's in his spoken word that whoever believes in Christ shall not perish but have everlasting life. And this is a mercy to us because we we deserve the wrath to come because we have all, since the... It, it's hard to even say, but just about since our entire existence we've been sinning against God, maybe not as infants, at least not knowingly. And until we are, until we have the capacity to understand that we are rebelling against God, we don't, we're, we're, we're not held accountable for our sins. There is an age of innocence but we are born with a sin nature, so by that logic, ever since our existence, we are, we are in active rebellion against God. But when we rest in Christ's complete sacrifice and trust that his grace has completed, has completed the punishment that we deserve on the cross, then we are credited with, with this complete righteousness as well. It's all part of his covenant loyalty, and God doesn't break his covenants. Humans do. That's why we have divorce, but God doesn't like divorce. He tolerates, you know, divorce and earthly covenants like marriage. It's still a sin, and God doesn't like it. There are biblical grounds for it, but the, those biblical grounds are not God saying he likes it. It's saying he tolerates it, and God tolerates a lot of our sins, and it's because of his complete grace that he does so. But because he tolerates things for the time being does not mean that he's just going to let it go. Unless you, unless you rest in the complete sacrifice in Christ and that he took the punishment that you deserve. You do this and God credits you with Christ's complete righteousness because of his complete per and perfect judgment that happened on the cross. And it's our, and it's in our, and it's, and it is our comfort that because of these words that God has spoken, that whoever believes in Christ shall not perish, but have everlasting life through his spoken word, which is recorded in the Bible, through the people who he has inspired through the Holy Spirit. As servants in Christ, we have this complete comfort knowing that God's covenant loyalty, his complete covenant loyalty is on us. And we have this in complete certainty So verse 77. And uh, let come to me your tender mercies, and I may live for your law is my delight. So let come to me, yabo unai. This is where the letter Yoda occurred. It means abide, apply, attain, be, befall, besiege, bring forth in, into, to pass, call, carry, certainly, cause, let, thing, for, to come against, in, out, upon, to pass, depart, doubtless, again, eat, employ, cause, to, enter, in, into, tearing, entering, Entrance, entry, befallen, fetch, follow, get, give, go down, into war, grant, have, 
indeed, invade, lead, lift up, mention, pull in, put, resort, run down, send, set, well, stricken in age, surely, take in, way. So, let come to me your tender mercies, and I may live for, so, and I may live has the letter Yod in, I may live is yeah. Keep, leave, make alive, certainly give, promise, life, let suffer to, live, nourish up, preserve, alive, quicken, recover, repair, restore to life, revive, God, save, alive, life, lives, surely be whole, for, again, for is Kai, it has the letter Yod, and for as much, in so much, where, as assuredly, but certainly, doubtless, else even, except for how, because in, so that, so then that, nevertheless, now rightly seeing since, surely then, therefore, although, till truly, until, when, whether, while, whom, yea, yet, and yet. Let come to me your tender mercies, and I may live for. Your law is my delight. So, God completely lets, in, in completeness, God lets his tender mercies come to us because of the complete mercy he can show us because of the completion of the Old Testament on the cross. And we may live... In this completion, uh, which is completely f because through Christ, his law is our delight. Because Christ fulfilled the law and in his love took the punishment that we deserve so that we can be credited with his completion. And all due to Christ and all due to God's tender mercies, which are complete. And because of this, they completely come to us through the certainty because we know that his word is complete and is certain. So, seven, verse 78. And that storm's getting a little closer. I think I might head over to the shelter. Okay, since there's only two verses left, I'm going to try to brave it. If the thunder gets any more consistent, I might head over to the shelter. There's a bit of a wall cloud forming over there. But the storm's not moving directly in this direction, so I think I think we're going to be good. So, verse 78, Let be ashamed the proud, for outside a cause they dealt perversely with me, but I will meditate on your precepts. So let be ashamed, ye bossu, and it means be make, bring to cause, put to with a shamed, be put to confounded, fuse, confusion, become dry, delay, be long. And the proud, zidem, has the letter yod in it. And it means presumptuous or, pr or literally proud. For again is kai. Having the letter Yod, it means, and for as much, in so much where, as assuredly, but certainly, doubtless, ev else even, except for how, because in, so then that, nevertheless, now rightly seeing, since surely th then, therefore, although, till, truly, until, when, whether, while, whom, yea, yet, For outside a cause, they have dealt perversely with me. In Wetunai is where the letter Yod again occurs. Bow self, make crooked, falsifying, overthrow. Deal perversely, pervert, subvert, turn upside down. But I will meditate on your precepts. So, 
Let be ashamed the proud, for outside a cause they have dealt perversely with me, but I will meditate on your precepts. So, let be ashamed. So, those who are in Christ have complete shame. Those who are not in Christ have complete shame and con condemnation because they won't place their trust in Christ for his complete righteousness. righteousness. Instead, they either opt to have their own works justify them or those who choose to flat out deny God's existence altogether because they are proud in their sins. They're too, pri too prideful to bow to God. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, is without realizing it, a lot of people are proud in their sins and in their rebellion against God. And with compl and for, completely for, and outside of a cause, a lot of them end up dealing falsely or perversely with us, or just turning our words or our worldview completely upside down for their gain. And all because they see God in us and... They can't stand it. And a lot of the New Testament tells us to rejoice when this happens because we're doing something right and because God will ultimately pay them back because God is letting these people have what they want. They're destroying themselves in their shameful, in their complete shameful ways. You see, you're either under God's complete grace and have his complete righteousness or you're completely in sin and shame. There's no, there's no in between. Spiritually speaking, yes, there are sins worse than others, and there are sinners in worse positions than others, but you don't have one side of yourself on the line and another side of yourself on the other side of the line. You're either on one side or the other, but you're further, but there are people who are further on that side. Of, there, are, there can be somebody further on that side than somebody else, but you're never, but you're never but you're never in between the line. You're, you're, you're either on one side, completely on one side, or completely on the other. And those who are completely on the other side will have God's judgment. They will be dealt with in that way. And they complete, and they do completely, they often completely just turn our words upside down, use them against us. And we're seeing it all the time, especially in politics nowadays, and I don't want to get too far into that, but it just seems like and it very much is this way, but I use the word seems like for lack of a, a better way to, uh, for lack of a knowledge of a better way to describe it. It seems like Christians are just the most hated group of people on the planet, and we are, but it's not us they're really hating. They see God in us, and they can't stand it because of God's complete grace. Because we have God's complete grace, their complete shame can't stand it. And there are those that long for this complete grace. And for those that do want it but don't know where to look, God sends us to these people. And sometimes uh, God sends these people to us without them even realizing it. There are the prideful that will be put to shame, that, turn our, that completely turn our view upside down because of their complete shame. And... They deal perversely with us, but we still continue to meditate on God's precepts, and we completely continue to do this because our faith is complete and is made complete in Christ. See, everything we do is in Christ, never outside of, always in. Because of the complete shame, or the complete shame the completely proud in their sins will have, completely for outside of any real cause just because they don't want to have their sins pointed out because they're proud of them they deal completely perversely with us they they flip our words turn our arguments against us they turn a, a lot of people the world sometimes against us but we completely and thoroughly meditate on God's complete precepts with complete meditation, because God gives us the complete capacity for this. And uh, here's a miracle for you, God showing us that he's going to protect us. Look at that. That is a 
beautiful. I don't know if that's a sunset yet. It's a it's only seven fifty, a little early for a sunset, but that is that is beautiful. Had to, had we gone over to the shelter, we probably wouldn't have noticed that. That is beautiful. That is a blessing from God. The sky is actually brightening up now. That is amazing. When we meditate on when we meditate on God, study his word, a lot of the times God God sends sends the light through these moments. Oh, I was staying corrected. There's uh, two more verses still. Okay. I miscounted. Either way, this is, this is awesome. So, may turn to me those who fear you. And then the word yodin, way yadil. It doesn't, there's no translation for this. And this isn't the first word, but the first word with yod in it is may turn, yasubu. And it has a lot of translations, so bear with me. Break, build, circumcise, dig, di do anything, do evil, feed, lay down, lie down, lodge, make, rejoice, send, take, weep, again, cause to answer, again, in any case, wise at all, adverse, Bring again back home again, call to mind, carry again, back, cease certainly, come again back, consider continually, convert, deliver again, deny, draw back, fetch home again, fro, get oneself back again, give again, go again, back home, go out, hinder, let see more, needs be past, pray, pervert. Pull in again, put again, up again, recall, recompense, recover, refresh, relive, render again, requite, rescue, restore, retrieve, cause to make, return, reverse, reward, say, nay, send back, set again, slide back. Still, surely take back, off, cause, to, make, to, turn again, self again, away, back, back again, backward, from, off, withdraw. To me, and again the word yod occurs in to me, the word is li, doesn't have anything that I can click on to translate. Those who fear you, the word yod, and the words, and the words those who fear you are Yareika, afraid or fearful. And the word yod occurs again in weyadeu. There's no English translation of to read the word, and there's no translation into deeper words. So this doesn't translate into our language, but I guarantee you this is something to definitely pause on because it's probably amazing. And even... Even that they may know, and again the word yod, the letter yod occurs twice again, weyodee, and it means acknowledge, acquaintance, acquainted with, advise, answer, appoint, assuredly be aware, unawares, cannot, certainly comprehend, consider, could they, cunning, declare, be diligent, can, cause to discern, Discover, endued with, familiar, friend, famous, feel, can have. Be ignorant, instruct, kinsfolk, kinsmen, cause. To let, make, know, come to give, have, take, knowledge. Have knowledge, be, make, to be, make, self, known. Be learned, lie by man, mark, perceive. Pri privy to prognosticator, regard, have respect, skillful, shoe, can, man of, skill, be sure of, a surety, teach, can tell, understand, have understanding, will be, wist, what, and what, wist, and what, wist, wit, and what, even that they may know your testimonies. May is in 
of complete surety, if this happens, may turn to me those who fear you, even that they may know your testimonies. So this goes back to what I referenced earlier, is that unbelievers often turn to us, or maybe those who are younger in the faith, those of us who have been Christians, maybe not for a very long time, but maybe longer than somebody else. Somebody, somebody who's younger than you in the faith, they, they turn to you because they fear God. And when they fear God, they do it with the complete, they do it with the complete respect and the desire to, and the complete desire to please God that the Holy Spirit gives them when they've received Christ. And because they see you, a fellow Christian, they see a glimpse of the complete grace that God has for them. And again, that complete, beautiful scenery right there. <laughs> this, this, whole, this whole completion theme is completely amazing. <laughs> so, and they do this so that they, com they can completely know your, your testimonies. Because you may, you may have knowledge that God has revealed to you about Scripture that you can reveal to them and bring their knowledge of God even as as close to completion as it can get on this side of heaven because we won't know everything on this side of earth. Our knowledge in the flesh, our knowledge of God is very limited, but the Holy Spirit's knowledge is unlimited. And when we put our trust in the completeness that Christ completes us with, we have access to this complete knowledge. But we don't, we don't, it's not any knowledge of our own, but because of our complete faith, we have this knowledge that we can give to others who desire to please God. And because of the complete desire to have this completion that God has given them through the Holy Spirit, and this is all made possible because Christ completely justified us on the cross, that those who turn to us because they see Christ in us, Christ is able to completely use us even though even though we're sinners by nature and completely unusable God God get, creates a new nature in us through Christ a nature that can completely please him because when he sees us he sees the spirit of Christ in us and finally in verse 80 let be my heart sound in your statutes to the end that not do I will be ashamed. So let be again has two yodes in it. Yahai beckon altogether become accomplished committed like break cause come to pass do faint fall follow happen have last pertain quit oneself require and use so let be my heart the word my heart is libai it has the word yod in it care for comfortably consent considered courageous friendly broken hard merry stiff stout double hearted heed i kindly midst minded regarded themselves unawares understanding well willingly wisdom our heart has all these things. It has the wisdom, and it has the capacity to care for. It's how we have a lot of our mindedness, our conscience. We think with our brains, but it's in our heart that we know right from wrong, because God says that he's written his commands on our heart. So, and then sound, the word te'im has the word yod, and sound means without blemish, complete, the, which is what the number 10 means, and therefore the word, the, the letter Yod. So sound, full, perfect, sincerely, itty, sound, without spot, undefiled, upright, and uprightly whole. So, with completely let be, my heart, my the my my heart, my complete 
my complete conscience made co- made complete by the Holy Spirit, even if I don't have, you know, complete understand understanding in my flesh, my spirit, the Holy Spirit living in me gives my heart this completeness and is completely sound, the word sound literally meaning complete, in your statutes, and in your statutes is Bahakuia, Bahakuika, the letter Yod, appointed, bound, commandment, covenant, custom, decreed, due, law, measure, necessary, ordinance, ordinary, portion, set time, statute, and task. And we, and referring to God's statutes, these are very complete. We know that they are complete because God is complete and he makes us complete. And it makes us complete to the end that we are not ashamed and we are not put to shame by the enemy. So he completely lets our let our complete Holy Spirit filled heart be completely sound in his complete statutes to the end that the enemy cannot put us to shame. We are, we are credited with the completeness in Christ. And this is all because of God's complete grace that was completed for us on the cross. And it's that perfection and completeness that God's name, the Tetragrammaton, yod heh vav heh represents the complete grace for man in grace. It's a grace sandwich. And it tells the story of Christ perfectly. And this psalm is a perfect reminder of it. And so is that beautiful sunset. I mean, that's completely beautiful. And so is Christ's complete salvation for us. All we have to do to receive it is repent of our sins and changing our mind about our sins, realizing we have no righteousness of our own, and trusting completely in His that He did the work for us. When we do that, we have God's complete forgiveness for every sin we've ever committed. So our complete lives are completed through grace, through faith. And it's Christ who offers this completion and wants us to offer this completion to others because when we believe, we begin to act the part. And when we act the part, they see a glimpse of that completion that Christ has for them and us and everybody who's willing to believe and completely put their faith in it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Sunday morning in the middle of uh, my get ready for church routine and uh, there were 613 laws in uh, the Jewish Torah or the Old Testament.